The Ministry of Health and Welfare will increase its subsidies for long-term care in a new system to be launched on January 1st. Despite the much derided comments of uh, Premier Lai Jingde that care workers should work out of the goodness of their hearts, the Vice Minister of Health and Welfare, Shui Reiyuan, claims that some care workers should see their monthly salaries rise to $40,000 NT next year. Care workers make immense personal sacrifices as they take care of the elderly and the incapacitated. But many receive a tiny monthly wage of little more than twenty thousand NT dollars, quite out of proportion to the value of their labor. The Ministry of Health and Welfare hopes that a reform of the long-term care system could see monthly salaries rise as high as forty thousand dollars next year. We will increase the subsidy for each service provided by care agencies. So the media has been reporting today that care worker salaries could reach forty thousand NT dollars, and that's not a fantasy. The subsidies the MOHW gives care agencies will rise from 320 NT an hour to 385 NT an hour in the latest long-term care payment system. The subsidy for each case will also rise from $30,150 to $36,180. Care workers' basic salaries will change from being calculated based on hours worked to being calculated based on the number of patients and the difficulty of each case. I think it's hard. Firstly, because of the money issue. Where are these funds going to come from? Secondly, as a care worker, you have to single-handedly look after so many people. You never get a chance to rest. So I think this needs to be reorganized. This care worker with six years' experience says that higher salaries will not be enough to attract more people to enter care work. To solve the growing dilemma, she says, more systematic reforms of the care sector are in order.